So Paul is writing to Titus in the church at Crete, like I mentioned before, reminding them how they should conduct themselves as Christ followers, as citizens of heaven, while they are living as citizens here on earth. And so we too are citizens of heaven under the reign of King Jesus, but we are also citizens of the United States here on earth. So who are we supposed to be listening to and who do we obey? The first thing that we need to realize is that Paul is instructing Titus and us as well to be submissive to authorities. So they might increase their effectiveness of the gospel. This is the the position This is how the church should conduct themselves and help position ourselves for evangelism. You see, it's not about us. We obey the rules, the rulers and authorities to please God. We pray for them because it pleases God. We do this so that we are ready for every good work. It is not about us or our rights or our comforts. Governments have and will always come to a point where they'll cross the line. When they demand that Christians obey them over God, when that happens, we must stand on God's word and suffer the consequences that come next, whether it be prison or death. Remember that you're a citizen or your citizenship is in heaven. Remember that this is not our world that we should cling on to. The next thing to remember is your king is Jesus. You are not your ultimate authority. The government is not your ultimate authority. Jesus is your ultimate authority. The next thing to remember is your purpose. You have to know your purpose. What's our purpose here? Let's not lose sight of what it is that we're called to do and get off track. And the last is to pray. I don't put it last because it's at least important. I put it last because once you've done all these things, I think you position your heart to pray. Once you realize, remember your citizenship, remember your purpose, remember that King is your authority, open up God's word. And now I think you've conditioned your heart in a way that when you come to God, it's not about you anymore. It's about what he wants. 